We're back. This is theCUBE. I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, and we're here at HP Discover in Barcelona. This is day three for theCUBE. We've done a number of, of CUBE events at HP Discovers. We've done several in Las Vegas. We did last year, we were in uh, Frankfurt. And this year is, is uh, this is a third time actually in, in Europe with HP. We did a smaller event in Barcelona in 2010. We did Frankfurt last year. And this is by far the most exciting, most energetic uh, Discover that, that we've been involved in. So we're going we're gonna to talk, we've been talking all week about converged infrastructure, and we've touched on virtualization and, and VMware a little bit, but we're going to go deeper now. Jeff Carlett is here, he's uh, with HP's Converged Systems Group, and Brent Sullivan's with VMware. VMware and HP have a, an epic partnership. I think, I think HP sells more VMware licenses you got that than, right. than anybody. So gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to theCUBE. Hey, Thank thanks, so, great uh, to be here again. Yeah, it's good to see you guys. So um, let's start off with uh, with with Discover. Um, what are your reactions? Hey, uh, you know, going for you? from an HP perspective, this is kind of our coming out party for converged systems as a business unit. So we're rolling out a total new portfolio that is the next click addressing the next wave of IT complexity, and that's called converged systems. So I see us everywhere, even though it's day three. Man, there's a lot of energy floating around here, and we got some great things going on. So I'm stoked. Yeah, Brent. I, I mean. VMware has just been an amazing journey, and uh, you guys use that, that term a lot, and yes, we've we documented do. it, it's been astounding. I remember when Paul Moritz stood up at a financial analyst meeting and said, we are going to build what he called at the time a software mainframe, and then Rick Jackson was a CMO at the yeah, time, Rick. he said, don't ever use that term again, you know? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but we all, you know, us old mainframe guys, knew what he meant. That was, and I remember talking to, to Moritz about this, saying, that's an incredibly challenging vision that you've put forth, and he said, yeah, it is. And in, in, in effect, it meant any workload, any application, anywhere, with no performance degradation, no, no downtime, and that's essentially what VMware has achieved in an amazingly short period of time. So, you know, you must be really proud of that. Well, we certainly are, and we couldn't do it without partners. Uh, you know, in order to, to do the, the pooling, the abstracting, the automating that we do that our customers value so highly, we need partners to make sure that it works seamlessly, it works reliably, uh, and they're able to move as many workloads of whatever size as they want to uh, into a virtual environment. We work together with HP around virtual HANA. Uh, that's a great proof point that there's really no workload that together we can't address. You know, but at the time I said, uh, specifically to that point about partners, I said to Paul, that's going to be even harder because you got to herd cats. You got to get all these partners working, you got to make all this stuff work, not just within a mainframe, which is controlled within a stack, but you have to do it with an entire industry. What has changed in the last 20, 30 years in this industry such that that is actually feasible today? Is it a industry standards? Is it application development tools? What's your observation there? Well, a, a, a tight working relationship has been the key to it, and we've had that for over 13 years now with HP, and converged systems take advantage of all of the integration work that we've done historically, put it in a package so that customers get predictable, repeatable results. Yeah, I think um, from an HP standpoint, convergence and conver our converged infrastructure strategy that we set forth about five years ago has really evolved and it's really taken root. I mean, take for example, years ago we would, gener we would deliver technologies, maybe only specific, like ILO or integrated lights out ASIC on our servers. Now that propagates not only through the servers but into storage. You know, take our uh, commonality of components and infrastructure that stretch now into networking. Our sea of sensors technology, again, born and bred out of our leading ProLine servers now, extends into our networking organization. So by by converging the underlying infrastructure, now we have, it's easier for us internally to bring these together to be able to deliver and partner with VMware in virtually any application, any tier one, any application of any size. Yeah, so Jeff, so earlier, so this week we've sort of done, this is our third drill down on converged. We, we yeah. sort of looked at the channel piece, which was, yeah. which was really interesting. I mean, the channel, you know, wants to participate it's in important. this and make margin, and so we talked a little bit about that. We had Tom Joyce on yesterday, kind yeah. of a big picture business. Yeah. Uh, we had some you know, fun around competition and so forth. So, 
Um, let's talk about converged infrastructure. You guys are taking it to another level That's right. now. That's um, right. Just give us what a quick update on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it's converged systems. So what we're doing is we're delivering, we call it sharks. I mean, we built sharks. Sharks are amazingly efficient. They're purpose built uh, for velocity and speed. And we're doing the exact same thing from an infrastructure and application standpoint. We're bringing together the best of our compute storage networking expertise, and we're bringing it together into a package um, that'll be able to allow companies to easily roll out uh, virtual machines, whether it be Smaller number, mid-market, we something got a, got a converged system 300, heavily targeted towards branch offices, mid-sized businesses, maybe uh, uh, maybe 50 to 300 virtual machines, uh, and then we've got a, a bigger brother of that, the, the converged system 700, which really innovates a, around flat sand and other core technologies for uh, for more enterprise and demanding. So these are the system itself is roughly half, roughly half of the total value proposition. It's performance, it, it's, it's like a shark, it's efficient, but there's also a total experience around it uh, that, that comes with it on the way a company or a partner can procure it and get it in installation. So Brent, uh, it became blatantly obvious when people started to virtualize the compute layer that <laughs> we were creating other problems, in, in particular things like storage and certainly now networking became problematic, it became choke points mm -hmm. in the virtualized infrastructure. So, mm -hmm. could you talk a little bit about, and, and then you guys have sort of responded with the industry, notably, uh, with integration points, trying to make the infrastructure not the problem, make it invisible, I would say. Can you talk about why VMware cares about converged infrastructure? Yeah, so you're exactly right. The choke points kind of, it's like squeezing a balloon, right? You squeeze one and the other part just, just pops out. And it takes multiple hands on the balloon so that one other part doesn't right. squeeze out. And that's what we've had in the relationship with, with HP. We've been able to address each of the different facets within a converged system so that the performance is balanced, so that there's not any of those hot spots, any of those bottlenecks in the, in the performance of those systems. And really, it's the, the partnership that's helped us av avoid those kinds of difficulties that others might experience. And that's, you know, I'll, I'll add to that. Um, customers I talk to day in and day out, you know, they want to get out of the, the cobbling together the solution business. They want to go drive their precious resources into doing more value added things for the, the comp their companies. Same thing with our partners. They'd rather be selling and focusing on their value added services than piecing together these solutions, the artisans of these systems. Well, that is what we are doing together. After we get the recipe right, we can now cookie cut out and b deliver these systems that span, you know, virtually all workloads. Right, I mean, you talk to guys in the hotel business, they say, we're in the hotel management yeah. business, we're not in the infrastructure business. Talk to guys in financial services, we're, we're in the money business, right. not in the infrastructure <laughs> business. That's right, and even, you know, uh, we have yeah. the ability around this to uh, uh, configure and quote, to quote in 15 to 20 minutes, versus typically days. We have the ability of delivering these systems in, and implementing them into the customer's environment in as little as 20 days. Now, okay, what does that mean I, if I'm a channel partner? Well, you can call on more customers, more turns, faster time to revenue. Um, we, can, we can react quickly. We can, we can upgrade a customer with a flexible module in as little as five days. So we've got great opportunities to really increase the velocity of our partners and our sellers. And, so, our, and our customers. You mentioned the yeah. journey earlier, and, and the overwhelming mass of our customers, where they're at in the journey, is aggressively driving tier one applications into business production. They need ways to quickly turn on large amounts of compute storage and networking, and I, I've said the words before, I'll say them again, to do them reliably, repeatably, and to have the kind of scale that they need. Converge systems, the right answer for customers who are trying to do just that, push more applications into business production. Yeah, so Jeff, we, uh, we were talking, I think it was, um, so you, you're saying now that the end-to-end -end cycle between order to delivery is like 20 days, yeah, so obviously the channel's going to love that. And I was trying to figure out what it was before, and I, I think you've cut it in, in half, or maybe even in a, th a third, right? Well, our competitors is roughly 45 days, yeah, okay. and that's where our, our target market is there. So we believe that is a core part of the experience and the value that isn't just built in the technology. It's built in our HP's global supply chain, our ability of using 
the, the breadth and might of what HP can do uh, as, as a supply chain. So Brad, you see VMware created this, this need, right? Or the problem, need, whatever the need is, <laughs> because you're gonna spin, VMware and Amazon, right? You're gonna spin up a, a, a virtual machine like that in, in minutes, right? So, yeah. oh wow, I don't have the rest of the infrastructure to take care of that, so. Uh, it, yeah. Exactly, I mean, yeah. we, we, uh, we, we used to talk about, you know, gee, you can spin up a VM, VM in a few minutes, so what? Yeah. Right, you've, you've got a VM, it's not doing any useful work. If it's a business application like I was just talking about, we've got a provision security, storage, networking, there's a lot of other components that have to be brought into play. And this is another place where, you know, we, we talk about software-defined data center, and we're deeply engaged with HP in areas like software-defined networking. Um, you know, we've announced a number of initiatives with, with HP that are beyond what we're doing with any other partners in that space. And these are all the kinds of things that pay off big when a customer buys HP Converge systems, they get the benefit of all of that work. Okay, so I got to ask you, um, you got a lot of initiatives internally at, at VMware. Uh, vSAN, uh, you, got, you, you made the NYSERA acquisition. How should customers think about those in the context of what they should do, what, sh what their strategy and roadmap should be? What's the right fit? Yeah, they should, they should think about the choice that this offers up to them, right? Uh, none of our customers are the same. You know, we talk about target markets because they share some general circumstances, but when it all comes down to it, uh, we together build the key pieces. Our channel partners are the ones who really help customers make the choices. So they can make those determinations of which are the pieces that we're offering up to them that are the best fit for them and tune it to exactly what they need so the customers. Yeah, and this is not new really no. in our business. I mean, it's, it used to be the, you know, the server OS or the whatever, even the desktop OS. Microsoft always had some level of function, whether it was networking yeah. or storage or compute in the OS. Now you got the data center OS, essentially. You've got to have some base level function and then, Jeff, your job is to add value on, on, on top, top of, of that. that. So I wonder if you could talk about that a little bit yeah, from a yeah. customer perspective. Yeah. What do you, what do you yeah. Like so if a customer says, you, well, I'm just going to get it from, from VMware. What, no, what no, I, I think, um, Really, what they're not looking for just something from VMware they're, or something from Microsoft. They're looking for faster delivery of IT services. They're, they're, they're looking for applications quicker. You, you need to come to someone that can actually do this all at once. That's why we, in our partnership, we've got engineers in dark, dingy rooms carving out the next generation of integration together. We got management integration that spans these systems that allow a seamless or a, a, a great view of of, of uh, managing these systems yep. through vCenter. And we've got, so we've got joint roadmaps. We've got, we're building this together. HP can then deliver it, use our professional services. We can provide single point of accountability to the customers. This is all important stuff for our customers rather than the finger pointings that, that they can often get with the uh, competition. Well, the, the integration piece is critical. As we were talking off the air, Wikibon for years now has done sort of lined up integration points uh, in, in VMware because we thought it was just so important. And VMware's, I think, very smart about it because VMware didn't have the resources to do all the integration yourself and you probably would have screwed it up if you tried to do it yourself. Uh, so you, you leveraged, no offense, but, but you leveraged the industry expertise to, to do that. Now at the same time, the industry had to have an incentive. This is why Todd Nielsen, friend of theCUBE, he would come on and he would always give us that metric for every dollar of, uh, spent on VMware licenses, there's I think you said 15 spent yep. within the ecosystem, so that's mm. spent on you guys and some of your competitors and, yeah. and throughout. So that was a brilliant move to create value as an ecosystem, but it's still amazing that you pulled that off. Are you, do you look back, are you, are you, are you shocked, surprised, pleased, all of the above? Well, you're happy to look back, but happier to look forward. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you, know, you talk about setting a baseline, and a great example of, of that is with things uh, like, like recovery time. Mm -hmm. you know, VMware can do a snapshot, you know, but HP snapshots using hardware much faster, gives customers better recovery time, recovery point objectives for that. So it's a great place where we may set a foundation or a baseline, but we partner with HP so that we can exceed that baseline because that's what customers want us to do. So we can look back to things like that. We can also look forward to uh, within uh, uh, things like management. HP was the first to integrate management with vCenter. We're driving that forward. We're driving forward right. across management layers as well as all of the various capabilities that HP brings to bear with converged systems. So, um, 
talking about specifically, I mean, essentially con a converged system specific for VMware, right? That's Correct. one of the exactly. offerings. That, that, is, that is the primary offerings we're announcing. I wonder if you could, if you could talk yes. about that, uh, you know, uh, a little bit. Well, you know, what's, what's that mean for the customer? Yeah, yeah, well, it means uh, uh, a rapid delivery of, of a system that is purpose-built for virtualization. It'll provide a customer the fastest path to virtualization and delivering those applications. It means a integrated proactive care support experience wrapped around that. It means that management integration that we've talked through is a core part of this. Um, it is uh, the ability of rolling out infrastructure quickly and allowing it to grow with simple modular building blocks mm -hmm. uh, as they grow in the future. So what does it mean? It means lower risk. It means less time spent cobbling these these systems together, and it uh, less money spent across all of these, both CapEx and uh, uh, OpEx. And the OpEx is, is a huge area that we focus on with, with management, and I think it's a huge area that Converge System addresses uniquely well. Because the, when I was a pup, I worked at a company called Compaq, and a, a competitor <laughs> were people who still built their own servers. Nobody builds their own servers anymore. And the same dynamics are at play here on a broader stage with Converge Systems. There's going to come a day in the very near future, Jeff, when mm. working together, folks aren't going to build you know, their own data center environments. They're going to buy them in a modular format, HP Converge Systems, the way they'll do that. And what about, um, so that sounds like a sort of general purpose virtualization engine. What about specific workloads? Is that something that yeah. you guys envision? Yeah, well, we're actually, we're, we're rolling out something we call App Maps, which is uh, providing um, guidance and frameworks to use our solutions expertise, again, between the companies on how best to drop applications on that. While not all automated at this point in time, it's more guidance and prescription, um, we see a future where, where today we may have cloud maps to roll out cloud and orchestrate cloud workloads, App Maps would roll out and deliver application workloads on top of our converged systems for virtualization. Yeah, absolutely, and they'll be using those in, in areas, uh, you know, we talked about uh, SAP and, and virtualized HANA a moment ago. Uh, we're also engaged very well uh, in areas like healthcare and uh, federal government, education. And these are areas where people can take advantage not only of the converged system, but also of these App Maps so that they get the, the hardware pieces, packaged components, repeatable, uh, predictable, and then also the tuned software layer to add on top of that for a complete success. Excellent, all right gentlemen, we're out of time. Really appreciate your, your time here today. $112 billion plus company, but you can't do it alone. You gotta have partners, <laughs> yeah. and uh, partnerships alive and well. <laughs> Congratulations on all your success, and thanks again for coming on theCUBE. Thank you. Okay, keep it right there everybody. I'll be back with John Furrier with our next guest. We're live from HP Discover Barcelona. We'll be right back after this message. Great. Thanks.